Go. I believe that forgiveness is a choice. I believe this because you choose to let go. You choose to let go of all the negative thoughts associated with that person or that memory that harms you. You choose to live without dwelling on what happened to you, but you also choose to be happy. Happy because the situation, no matter how hard it was to overcome, made you to who you are today. You choose to be happy with the person or that situation because going through that, you can now say, I'm in control of my own happiness. This is why I believe that forgiveness can be one-way street if necessary. It isn't impossible to forgive someone that hasn't apologized. To be happy, I believe you have to learn to forgive without an apology. You're not always going to hear an I'm sorry, maybe because the person that hurt you doesn't know they hurt you, or they don't care that they hurt you. But I don't think it's necessary to hear those words because forgiveness comes from your heart only. No one can tell you how to forgive or when to forgive. That's your choice, and no one can tell you otherwise. Depending on the situation, forgiving can be easy or it could be hard. I choose to forgive when most people wouldn't. I forgive because I believe that everything happens for a reason. Most of the time, we don't know what the reason is, but we have to trust it. We trust it because it's a part of our journey. God, puts, God has a plan for us. I believe that God puts obstacles in our way to get, ready, to get us ready for an obstacle further down the road or to change the way we think about something. It could be in our plan to be hurt or in someone else's plan to hurt us and they learn from that experience. God changed my way of thinking because some, he put an obstacle in my way. Someone hurt me in a way that at the time I considered unforgivable. I went on living life being sad and hurt because I was holding on to a grudge. Um, it was like a huge weight on my shoulders and I could never stop thinking about it. Now that I have forgiven this person, it's still hard for me to go back and fully forgive because at the time, I told myself I wouldn't forgive it. From that, I also believe that forgiveness is decided the moment something happens to you. If you believe you can forgive an action the moment it happens, then you will probably fully forgive. But if at the time, you are full of hate, that hate will probably never fully leave your heart. I'm happy that God put that obstacle in my way because I learned how to forgive. I also got ready for another obstacle. This obstacle was bigger than the first, but this time it was easier to forgive. That's why I believe that forgiveness does not change with how severe someone hurts you. I choose to forgive in this situation because the light of forgiveness is so much better than the darkness of holding on to a grudge. Forgiveness is seen differently by everyone and may not be accepted by everyone because people around you might not understand why you are forgiving someone that has done something so bad to you. Some people believe that forgiveness is earned and that some actions are never forgivable, no matter how re much repenting a person does. No one can tell you how to forgive or how long it should take. That decision is yours to make and no matter what, people will always try to tell you what to do, thinking that they're giving you good advice. People will try to tell you that the person hurt you did something so wrong or they might go the other way and say that you're overreacting about something, but no one else matters in the situation but you because you will always be happiest when you start making decisions for yourself, not for others. People closest to me don't know why I forgive or how I forgive so easily, but I do. I forgive because I want to, not because I'm asked to or God tells me I have to. Regardless of what everyone else wants, I forgive. The choice to forgive is hard and the act of forgiving is even harder, but I choose forgiveness and above all, I choose to be happy. Thank you.